Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera. Hey, sir. Hey, today we're going to take a look at two Pasquini machines. We're looking at the Pasquini Livia G4 PID and the Pasquini Livia G4 Semi Auto. Key differences between them are the G4 PID has programmable dispensing. So you can program this to brew any amount of coffee you want. Here's your manual button. You can start and stop the pump for brewing on that one. Or you can use the program version over here, like a double shot for that and a single shot for that. On the uh, semi-automatic version, you have a button here you push. That starts the pump for brewing. That stops it. And they're both heat exchanger machines? Yep, both 1.5 liter boilers. They're copper that are plated. Mm -hmm. And they have a uh, 1,400 heat watt heating element in them. So they have pretty good power. Let's see, gauges. Let's take a look at the gauges. This one over here, there's your brew pressure gauge on the uh, PID version. On the semi-auto version, we have a dual gauge that shows steam pressure and brew pressure. Not sure why this one has it and that one doesn't, but... That's the way it is. Somebody designed that. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, let's see, the, the valves, steam valves. Okay, we have a two position here. Raise it, it locks into position. Put it down, and it doesn't, so you can... Go kind of like you're frothing, you can feather it a little, just as much or as little as you want. Same with the hot water wand over here. Lock it. Or actually, this doesn't lock. This is either no. on or off. Because that way you don't flood the place. There you go. <laughs> so we do like that design. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps you from being Less silly. Messy, huh? yeah. Yep. Uh, control. So we said this has a PID control in it. That actually controls the temperature of the boiler, therefore the pressure, because they're directly related. Mm -hmm. On the uh, G4 version, the semi-automatic, you have a pressure stat that controls the pressure in the boiler and therefore the temperature. Now you can't adjust this the pressure in this without getting inside the machine. One of the advantages of having the PID is you can change the pressure in your boiler and therefore it will affect the brew temperature. So if you raise this up to say 204 or so, the temperature in your boiler will get higher, therefore your brew temperature will get higher. This doesn't actually tell you what your brew temperature is. So it's not like the PID that you'll find on a Pro 700 by Provitec or a uh, okay. Extra Bar Brutus or any of those other the machines. dual boiler. Yeah. yeah, this is just for reference. Right. It gives you a rough idea whether you're going warmer with it or you're going cooler with it. Okay. Let's take a quick look inside the machine over here. I don't know if you're all that interested, but we'll show anyways. <laughs> this is the PID version. Right? PID version. The non-PID is very similar except it has a pressure stat that screws right into here. The key thing on this, we're looking here for is just, well, you can see the boiler, and it's plated, it's all copper. Uh, your pump is over here. The only non, the only tubing in here that's under pressure that is not copper is this tube that runs from the pump here over to the boilers, boiler. Uh, the purpose of the Teflon is it kind of keeps down vibration, so it's flexible. So when the pump vibration pump's moving... You don't vibrate that and make more noise. Exactly. Okay. Apparently noise is bad. <laughs> yeah. Up, uh, your reservoir is up top here. We have a couple tubes going in there, or three actually. You have, here's your water intake. It's nice to have a filter on the inlet. Mm -hmm. The last thing you want to do is suck up a little bit of coffee or something else to get stuck in some of the valves. And over here you have a tube that comes from your overpressure valve and one from a deaerator. So when you're brewing, you will always see a little bit of water coming out of this. That's, that's, perfect, that's perfectly normal. That's normal. Yep. Uh, let's see, do you show the drip trays yet? Nope. Okay, they come out like this. I mean, it's no big thrill, but there's your drip yeah. tray. You know, it's all nice workmanship. I would say yeah. they're, they're very well made. And they, they ship well, too. They don't get damaged in shipping. And they got nice the lovely Pasquini logos on the side here. Oh, yeah, you've got, yeah, you got the branding. Lots of branding, and then up front, and then and over here. And then, of course, the big one out at the end of the port. Yep. Oh, they're nice handles, too. It fits, fits your hand nicely. I do like them. Yeah. Uh, when I looked at it, I didn't think I would, but I, I do. <laughs> and uh, that's how it sits on the counter. Just going to yeah. give you an idea. Uh -huh. uh, dimensions. Quick look at dimensions here. We've got 14 inches tall. And I think around 10 inches wide. 10 inches wide. So, so it doesn't take up a lot of counter space. Yeah. Nice compact. Yeah. So if you're battling for counter space for your new machine... <laughs> There's one of your weapons. Who do you battle with? But honey, it's small. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna brew? Yeah, we'll brew on the uh, the auto version. Okay, so we're gonna brew a uh, couple singles. One in the 
cappuccino cup, one in the espresso cup, and I use the double shot button. Okay. Oop. Oops, I, wrong I button. I pushed the wrong button. Oh well. No, just stop that manually. Yeah, I'll stop it manually. Figures, doesn't it? Oops. It's a feature. It's a feature, yeah. So it's nice. You can you can use a programmable mode or you can use manual mode. Look at the roll now. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it Notice how easy that shuts off? Yeah, you just I do like drop that. it down. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that okay. is how the machine works. And don't mind if I have a little bit. <laughs> little milk mustache. Mm, yeah. Okay, so there's our two machines. The Pasquini Livia G4 PID, programmable, mm -hmm. PID control, or these uh, Pasquini Livia G4 semi-automatic with a pressure stat. So that's it, I'm Todd, thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh,